Stem cells is a general term that refers to any cell that is capable of differentiating or becoming more than one other type of cell. And so there are a whole host of different types of stem cells. Uh, primarily, we're, are, we're exclusively dealing with adult stem cells, uh, which means they're coming from a mature individual. Well, the stem cells uh, are their main purpose is to uh, replace tissues that are uh, turning over. As you're aware, all of our tissues turn over and are replaced. Our bone is replaced, our skin's replaced, and the stem cells um, are the cells that do that. Uh, the objective of using these cells in lupus is that they also uh, play a role in the immune system. Uh, they tend to turn off the immune system or down-regulate the immune system. And so the thought is in normal immunity, when there's tissue damage, uh, then the immune system goes into the area um, and can become overreactive uh, and could lead to autoimmunity. And this, in the mesenchymal stem cells, their role in addition to repairing the area is also to make sure that the immune response does not get too active. And so they make a variety of different types of chemicals and what are called cytokines and uh, that then dampen the immune response and turn it off. So in lupus, they can be used to turn down the immune system uh, and that is what they've been shown to do. Most of the research that's been done on this has been done in uh, China. Uh, there's a, a collaborator of ours, Dr. Lin Yun Soon, who um, has originated this therapy for lupus, and he has uh, used it to treat, used the cells to treat uh, over 100 patients with lupus in China. Uh, he's reported excellent results with that, with very low to no toxicity. Um, however, his studies have not been controlled. They've not compared uh, patients getting standard of care to patients getting the cells. The preliminary work that we did that was funded by the, the Lupus Foundation was to uh, try to determine which type of mesenchymal stem cell or which source of mesenchymal stem cells was going to be the most effective to use. And our studies uh, confirm uh, what had been previously thought, except in a broader way, that the stem cells from lupus patients are not nearly as effective as uh, stem cells coming from normal individuals or control individuals that don't have lupus. Um, the good thing about the stem cells is that you can give them to people that you're not a match for. Like you can't give a kidney transplant without matching, can't give a bone marrow transplant without matching, but you can give these stem cells to somebody that you're not related to and they are not rejected. This particular therapy using mesenchymal stem cells uh, does not require that the patient's bone marrow be ablated by uh, chemotherapy or anything, you just give them straight. So right now, because we don't know whether they work or not, we don't know uh, for certain the, the safety profile, although we believe the safety is, is very, uh, the risk is very low, uh, then we're primarily going to use them in patients that have not responded to uh, standard of care like uh, Cellcept or Imuran, uh, but we're not requiring that they have life-threatening disease, uh, but just refractory disease to the agents that we have now. The plan right now is just do one single infusion of the cells uh, and then assess how uh, the patients uh, respond to that compared to another group of patients that won't receive the cells but get standard of care therapy. The NIH grant that we received is a planning grant, uh, and what that means is it's a grant that provides the funding for us to be able to, um, to uh, get the IRB, the approval from the various regulatory agencies, as well as get the FDA approval uh, to go ahead and, and use the cells uh, for uh, treating lupus. So the planning grant is a 
12 month, one year grant that started July 15th. And so that will end and we have uh, high hopes that we will have everything uh, in place uh, at the end of that year. We would then apply for the larger grant and so we're probably 18 months to two years away from actually giving the cells to patients. We anticipate uh, treating approximately 50 patients and then um, having 50 patients be in the uh, placebo group, or it's not really a placebo group, but standard of care group. I think it's, you know, I think it's an exciting time. I think, you know, looking at these uh, cellular therapies is a new way of treating disease, and so I'm, we're very excited about doing it. I think the community is very excited about, you know, seeing whether it works or not, so we're thrilled to have the opportunity to, to move this forward. Thank you.